Hi everybody, Science on 324 here, and I've got another video for you. Um, so if you watched the last video that I uploaded, the, uh, what did I call it, the homemade neon sign question mark? Um, I got the vac, the tube from the vacuum pump up to the chamber to light up because I had it hooked up to this. The only problem was I had to be careful because this has overcurrent protection so it'll shut off if it draws too much current. So, I, uh, went and I brought my, uh, neon sign transformer up to my apartment from home and hooked it up because it doesn't have overcurrent protection. So I can pump as much current through there as I want to until I melt the wires, which obviously I'm not going to do on purpose. Um, and I hooked it up and I got a much better effect than the last time and I wanted to show you guys what it looks like. So I've got had the pump running for a while, so there should be very little air in there, and if I can keep un or quit unplugging it by accident here. Alright, so let's turn on the variac. See, make sure the okay. How does I turn up the voltage? I don't think my neon sign transformer is connected properly. So let me double check these connections here. These need to be in there nice. Tight. I should probably just wire something like an actual plug up to this so that I don't have to keep doing this, but I'm too lazy. <laughs> okay, let's try again. Take two, power on. Voltage up. Okay, okay. It's working now. So there's that. There we go. Look at that. So obviously it's not a neon light because there's no neon in there. However, and this is also because of the color, I have found it is, well, and by deduction, I guess. I don't, I don't, I don't know. But it's mostly nitrogen that's in there, which is why it glows purple when there's high voltage going through it. So it's technically not a neon sign, it, it, uh, light, not a neon light, it is a nitrogen light. So this is a nitrogen light that has been inadvertently created here in my room in my apartment. But that is glowing so much brighter. I just thought you guys probably would want to see that. Check that out. Um, ooh, yeah. I gotta be careful about leaving it on too long because it, it heats this up pretty good. It gets kind of warm. But that's not too bad. Oh, that's still cold. Metal itself is cold. It's just the piping that's warm. As long as I don't melt it, we're fine. But I mean, you can't tell me that's not freaking cool to look at. Like, seriously, that is freaking awesome. I can get some pretty good uh, looking light out. It's a pretty good amount of light out of that thing, actually. So, there is actually a surplus for the university that I'm going to currently um, that has some glass piping. So, my next plan is to go and get some of that glass piping and hook it up to this. Um, and put some electrodes in it and see if I can make a nice bright light, high voltage light. Um, but we'll see how that goes. But yeah, I, thought, I just wanted to show you guys that. And I am going to be doing a, uh, let me turn the vacuum pump off here. Turn off the main power. Um, I'm going to be doing a question and answer video. Maybe probably be the next one up after this one. So if you guys have any questions you've ever wanted to ask me or anything like that, um, that or maybe a question you asked me and I haven't answered because I didn't see it, uh, leave a comment below on this video uh, with your question, and I will go through all of the questions, the comments on this video, and I will answer as many questions as I can in one or maybe two videos, depending on how many questions I get. But I really... I guess I've never done anything like that, and I'm usually behind the camera, so I'm going to give you guys an opportunity to get to know me a little bit better if you want to. So you can go ahead and leave a comment below with your question, and I will do my best to answer it for you. Uh, but as always, guys, thanks uh, so much for watching. I uh, appreciate your support. I think we're up to about 5,300 subscribers now, which is awesome. And so thank you guys so much for all the support you've given me. I appreciate it. Um, and I'll go over that a little bit more in the, um, answering, answer video.
But anyway, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And leave your comment with your question below. <laughs> and yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.